Today, I am going to be doing some competitive golf inside of the Spoko Square Infinity Lounge. Check this out. We find Missing No, Slippers, Egret, all infinite zero players. In case you weren't aware, inside Spoko Square, there is a hidden Infinity Lounge. It's top secret. You can't even get in by invite. The only way you can get in is if you go and find it. So I won't be sharing any more details on that. Let's jump right into the action here. 17, six mile an hour to our headwind. Full power driver is the only thing you can do here. Nice shot. Yeah, like I guess I don't I don't think we're gonna make it up to the hole actually. I don't think there would be enough power for hole in one. Okay, no, there's not. So unless maybe somehow you like intentionally got a launch roll glitch on 17, then maybe you could make it to the hole. Okay, well that right there. I don't I don't know how Full 17 is weird. I don't know how... I went full power driver and I ended up... 30 feet shorter distance than um, Mr. Astronaut over there. But anyway, good birdie on 17. 17, one of the hardest holes in the game. So, in a tough lobby, on a tough hole, good birdie. By the way, I don't think it's possible to intentionally get a launch roll. But honestly, that would be like a 2000 IQ big brain play right there. But, um... Let me see, how many birdies? Okay, five birdies, three pars. Missing no, one of three infinite players on the chopping block. Going into hole 18 here. Looks like there's some strong headwinds, so we're probably gonna have to go to the island on the right, which we will. No problem, though. Nice shot. But today, in this video, we are gonna be finding, or attempting to find, infinite ranked players in every single game we play today. I'm curious to see how I fare against people of that rank i mean i've been stuck in s9 for a long time so you have to wonder is this legitimately my natural rank i think today will be pretty telling you know if i can't or if i finish with like i don't know maybe a 20 percent win rate against infinite players then maybe yeah well s9 is my natural rank but nice shot. i think in the past i've gone like close to 50 percent win rate against players infinite zero infinite one and I'm also looking for some more rank today, too. If I can win in, like, any... Nice or in this lobby, or just against any other infinite player, it's obviously a good amount of rank, so we are trying to get some wins here, trying to get some big dubs today. 18, I did go, as you saw, full power from the island on the right. This is as far as I could make it. Got a tricky putt to make here to sink eagle. There's gonna be some eagles, some birdies here. Let's see if I can put myself up top of the leaderboard. Uh, no, bad putt there. Bad putt. I guess I'll be tapping this in for birdie. Tricky conditions for eagle. I don't know. I'm seeing a lot of birdies rolling, so I don't know if I'll be super far behind. Let's look at the standings here. I mean, I should have sunk that putt. I should have made that putt. Should have gotten 14 points here, so... Saying that's a hard C is no excuse, because I did make it onto the green in two strokes. But okay, only one singular eagle there. Tied for second with everybody remaining. And um, Tetsu, the guy who eagled, well, he, bur he, he parred full 17, and he eagled 18. He's A rank. Like, what was he, A26 or something? I don't remember exactly. That's crazy. Nice. The only player in a stacked lobby to Eagle 18 was an A rank, so props to that guy, Tetsu. He's currently beating two infinite players, it's myself at S9, and I think there's an S7 player in here as well, so... We'll see what... Maybe Tetsu's a smurf, I don't know. Although, if you were smurfing, you probably wouldn't be an A26. But anyway, hole one here, just going a little bit left, because the wind is going to push me right. Okay, that was too much. Oops, I, um... Yeah, it's fine. I'll tap this in for birdie. I don't know why I went so much there. But, pretty sure we saw all birdies there. It's no surprise. 
I mean, I I didn't think Chip and Eagle was going to be too, like, difficult, but, I mean, obviously I went way too much power there. So, Mr. A rank still 31, everybody else 30. Everybody in this lobby is tied on strokes. If we were playing stroke play, we would all be at 3 under and we'd all be tied for first, but obviously, the way the game is set up, Eagle pars with more than birdie birdie. So, uh, majority of the lobby, we find ourselves one point down. Hole 13 here, I'm not going to go backspin. going to go between three and three and a half. Nice shot. And uh, power should be fine. Eh, it might be a bit left. Well, I'm definitely going to be left, okay. It was okay. Yeah, it was okay. Nice That's a tough hole in one, but... Approaches, free birdie putt, can't really complain. Nice and yikes, it's a bad day to be a bird. The only pars in the lobby were from the only birds in the lobby. We are saying bye to both birds, four players going on to the finals, still in second. I am tied with Slippers, one of the infinite ranks, and um, Mr. Pops, who is, I think he was S2. And, uh, freaking Big T up in first. I don't know. Crazy. I don't know how, dude. A26 beating everyone. Crazy. You would think hole-in-one's the only thing that... The only way to win here. Because if, if T gets a birdie he and we get a birdie, he wins. So, gotta play a bit aggressive here. Go for the hole-in-one. Three iron for sure. With backspin for sure. I mean, I could try to go, like, three and a quarter on the, with, with no backspin. But I think that's... Well, I don't know. I think backspin's the play here. Nice shot. Okay. There's a birdie from T. And he, I, I literally just lost to an A-ranked player. Who let this guy into the Infinity Lounge, bro? Like, kick this guy out right now. That's crazy. That's actually crazy. Well, GG's to everybody. What a weird round. I'm happy that I beat three infinite players, but I simultaneously lost to an A-ranked player. TT? Freaking buddy's gonna go buy an Audi TT after this game. That's crazy. Lost by one point. Sucks losing by one point. Tied with Pops. Honestly, I probably shouldn't lose rank even though I got second and lost to an A rank. I think. Probably will gain a little bit here. Yeah, a little bit. Honestly, that's more than I normally get for a win, so I'll take that. That was fun, but I want to look for some even higher infinite ranked players. Let me cook. Let me cook inside this infinite ranked lounge. Game number two here. And, oh boy, Chef Sensei has delivered. I said let me cook, bro, inside the Infinite Lounge. Lounge. We find Infinite 3, Rohan, Infinite 4, Joe, Infinite 7, Julia, and some random other B ranks and lettered ranks. Kind of crazy how the matchmaking works in this game. First game was fun. Pretty close. Right up until the end. Unfortunately got second. Nice shot. I'm going to try to pull that back here, see if I can get a win in an even... Harder lobby. Even more stacked lobby. Headwind, crosswind, tricky pin position. Nice shot. Yeah, that's way too far right. Nice and way too much power action. Actually, that was just a bad shot all around. So, I mean, free birdie. But not how you really want to start this match with a bad approach. Nice Alright, on to 12 here. I totally missed the scores in that little intermission. I didn't see any... I mean, I, th I think I only saw birdies roll in just on the notification pop-up, so pretty sure we're all tied for, for first on 10. Maybe there's some pars, I'm not sure. Hole 12 here. Ooh, really love this pin position, actually. Nice shot. 
Let me just get myself onto the fairway island here. And, um... This position, this pin position was made for the spoon, like, actually. Back left pin position, one of my favorites, or actually, it definitely is my favorite on the screen. Spoon play here, chance for an albatross. I actually think there's a really good chance for an albatross here. I'm not going to cap with you right now. I'd even see multiple albatrosses. I wouldn't be too surprised. Looks pretty good so far. Bang! Literally bang. Exactly what I envisioned in my mind. Actually, I was pretty confident in the albatross there. It's not exactly how I envisioned it. I um, I actually did a one bounce and then a dunk. So, I was expecting to roll in for the albatross, but I gave it a bit extra power there. Sunk the one bounce dunk, and we will absolutely take 18 points off of hole 12 inside the infinity lounge solid 18 points there on uh hole 12 and uh oh i guess i was mistaken last hole there yeah, apparently julia got the chip in you which i did not see so tied for first on 28 and everybody else on 24. very solid game so far all of the infinite players are going through to the semi-finals should be fun the next two holes see who ends up making it to the finals listen there's only three spots in the finals there's three infinite ranks in this lobby and myself so i'm kind of thinking one of them gets kicked out and, uh, you know, I make it to the finals, but we'll see. Hole 13, strong, strong tailwind here. Strong voice crack as well there. Absolute poggers moment. And, uh, just get some spin here. Get a nice approach, not really expecting the hole in one. I think there was just a hole in one. Yeah, there was, wow. I heard the collapse there, so pretty good hole in one from whoever that is. Nice I forget what rank that person is, too. So, okay, not the greatest approach, but similarly to hole 10. Not a good approach. Should be free birdie, though. So after three holes, there's, it's going to be a three-way tie on 38. What a game so far. Fourth and fifth on 34. Joe and Rohan, infinite three, infinite four. They are going to need a chip-in if they want to uh, advance to the finals here. Either they're going to need a chip-in or they're going to need uh, one of us three in an advancing position to make a mistake. We have 15 here. Kind of a strong wind. Nice shot. But to be honest, it should be pretty flat for a stroke two, so. Chippins are on the table, for sure. Stranger things have happened, that is for sure. Hmm, too far left. Very, very, very close though, actually. Nice approach. Give the wind just a tad bit too little right there. Happened birdie. Secured my spot in the finals, that's for sure. And wow, three-way tie on 48 going into the finals. Fairly high scoring game so far. In finals, what do we get? Well, 16 here. Okay, doesn't look like it's a very strong win, so chip and eagle on the table for sure. If not, if, if there's no eagles, probably just going to be three birdies and it'll go to a three-way closest to pin. See if we can uh, maybe get a cheeky win here, though. We'll see. What's the win doing? 11 mile an hour. Okay. Kind of want to go under that back tree. See if I can roll onto the green putt for an eagle. That would be uh, pretty stellar. Nice shot. Uh, okay, I could have gone like a tad bit more power. Yeah, dang it. Okay, I needed that. Shoot. Didn't quite make it on the green there. I did clear the tree by like a foot or so, so I guess I could have gone a bit more power there. I don't think I should putt this anymore, just because I'm on the fairway. Gonna be left with a bit of a tough chip. Green is gonna break pretty hard to the left, so gotta keep that in mind.
Yeah, what am I doing? That wasn't even close. That actually wasn't even close. It wasn't even that part of a chip. I actually kind of messed that up. That's too bad. Birdie for me. I feel like Eagle's definitely gettable here. Birdie. Did I say Eagle for me? I meant to say Birdie for me. Whatever. I have 10 points there. Bruh. That's another L for this video. Very nice chipping from Julia to steal the win. Albatross on 12, and I still lose by 4 points in the end. It was 62 to 58. GG's to everyone we played this game. 62, great score. Hard to complain about losing when your opponent gets 62. Although I do hate losing, but that's just the competition inside the Infinity Lounge. So, second place should still gain a bit of rank here, because it did beat uh, two higher rank players. It's actually a lot. That's like six times the amount I normally get for a regular win. You can only imagine what rank I would have gotten there if I had won, but let's not think about that. I'll see you in game number three. Game number three here. Joe is back for some revenge. Also, we find Trash Can. Okay. Clearly, if he's infinite um, zero, he's not a Trash Can. But um, was Joe? I'm pretty sure Joe was infinite four last game, if I'm not mistaken. And he's three this game. He might be, or he's three and three. I don't know, but I thought he was four last game. And uh, partly due to me, he deranked. So I feel like he's going to be out for some revenge this game. So we'll have to watch out for that. Might be uh, playing a little better this game. But here we go, 13. Kind of feel like going spoon here. I actually got a really nice spoon hole in one in my knockout tournament that I played earlier today. So let's get another one here today, right now. And why did I even decide to do that? Tried to get cute with it there. I really did. And now I'm left on the fairway after one stroke on hole 13. Very nice. Maybe we can save birdie though. Let's see what we can do here with the chip. Bang. Literally bang. Good save. I mean, I don't know if that was bang worthy. Chip and birdie? From what was that? 30 feet? I don't even know. Not that impressive, but a really good save on my end for birdie on the first hole of the game. And surprisingly, there were only actually four birdies there. The rest pars. Bobby is split in the middle. Ooh, and on to 14 we go. I'm trying to remember what score I had in the first. I had 50 points. Okay, I went 50, then 58. Can actually maybe get 54 here. Well, what if we what if we albatross this for um 58? Let's see. Let's see what we can do here on 14. Pins being guarded by the bunker, so I have a big choice to make here. Go around, straight down the fairway, spoon onto the green, or attempts to blast it through the trees. Nice shot. I think you know which one I'm going for here. Barely well, actually, that was pretty good. Pretty good clear on the fairway. I like going this way better when the, the pin's being guarded by the bunker, because you can just go 5 iron, even 3 iron if you need to. Add some spin. But if you go around, you gotta go spoon, and you gotta go left of the bunker, so you're gonna be, um... Left of the hole, left with a bit of a longer putt. That was close. That was really close. I was kind of thinking Albatross for a split second there. But, uh, yeah. You don't get aggressive spin on this hole, but I always add spin when I'm chipping just to slow my ball down when it hits the green. I mean, de I, depends on the situation, but that was a very good approach. That was a free eagle. And both Trash Can and Joe chipping for eagle. Okay. Interesting. Very interesting. Ah, uh, good save by Joe. Fortunately, Can Man couldn't save his uh, chip as well. So we're gonna be tied for first with Joe on 24, and Turner, then 20, and then 17. Everybody going through to the semifinals actually. Eight-way semifinal. One of these days, I would like to see a um, an eight-player final. That would be fun. We got five here, zero wind. Depending on the pin position, it would be a free eagle. Uh, this one's tricky. This one's actually quite tricky. Nice 
I think the, the play for this, how to get an eagle on this pin position is go just a tad bit to the left with backspin. Nice shot. I'll see if I can get her done. I'm going to move my aim stick two ticks to the left here and then add some backspin. See if that's enough. Sometimes when I attempt this though, I just get a really awful lip and I roll down the hill of the green and then I'm left with a really tricky putt. Okay, hit the pin, and bounce right, even though I moved two ticks to the left. Hmm. Nice shot! Oh, great. Nice par. That was pretty bad. You know what it was kind of weird is I heard the game adjust me two ticks to the left. I heard it. But the aim looked like it was the same. But I just trusted the sound and still went for it. I guess I didn't actually adjust anything, which is why I hit the pin. And then missed the putt just for fun, you know. I gotta give these infinity ranks a chance to win, you know what I mean? Even though I've literally lost every game. This video, I haven't won a single one yet. All right, though, we got hole six. We can bring it back here. I know I can get a birdie here, which would sort of make up for the par in hole five because I do think there's going to be like a number of pars here on this one. So maybe if Joe and Turner are in first par and I birdie, we go in it all tied up again going into the final. So nice shot. Definitely need spin here, at least to slow my fall down when it hits the green. And we have, like, strong tailwind, downward green. And yeah, spin does help a bit there, so. Nice on. Good play on my end. 18-footer for birdie on hole 6. Tricky green, but makeable putt here. Beauty, very nice birdie there. Turner par, so let me see what Joe gets here. Alright, well, it's looking like Joe's making a par here, unless he sinks this chip, which would be clutch, but, um, to the finals we go on a three-way tie for first. Here it is. 41 points, saying goodbye to five players here, and on to hole seven. So I do wonder, well, last, last game we had a three-way tie for first. Julia stole it. So are we going to be going to a CTP this time? Is someone going to steal the win? Who knows, we got seven here. Seven is not the easiest, it's a tricky hole. We have strong, strong wind here too. Nice shot. All right, far enough down the fairway to where I think we can go three iron here, full power. I don't know if I would clip the tree right up right in front of me i know it has a bit of a smaller hitbox than it looks so I, I think we can make this nice shot nice hmm. it was uh quite far actually very far there should have gone let should have gone less power, although I was honestly thinking that headwind would be a lot stronger than it was. Okay. Second part of the game. We already saw Turner birdie, and that is Joe's birdie. Wonderful. That's another that's literally a third L. For, uh, this game or this 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 nice video point. three L's in one video kind of weird actually I, I think in the end I beat six infinite players although I ended up losing every single game first game the big T a rank beats me second game lost to Julia on 62 infinite seven 
This game just played really poorly, really, really poorly. 48 points, inexcusable. Um, I feel like after that performance, actually, you know what? Let's watch the CTB here, see who wins. But uh, yeah, I feel like after that performance, I just gotta take a break. If I keep playing, I might just continue to play bad and then I'll just lose a bunch of rank. Although it was quite fun golfing inside the Infinite Lounge today. Okay, not the best chip from Joe there. And an even worse chip from Turner. All right. I mean, that was a tough CTV. Look, what was it? Did it say 31 mile an hour wind or am I just making that up? I don't know. Either way, Joe took the dub home, infinite three. Good win from Joseph there. Good win. I got third. I probably losing rank here. You almost never gain for third. Eh, let's see. Yep, that's a lost rank. Rightfully so. Poor game on my end. Like I said, two mistakes in this game. If I keep playing, I'm probably just going to be losing more rank. So that's going to be it for today's video. If you enjoyed this content, hit the like button, and I will see you guys in the next video.